remember that time a couple of years ago when an influencer shared 2.6 million followers on Instagram and she couldn't sell 36 t-shirts? One, it's not unusual. Two, it still happens today. Three, I'm going to give you three reasons on how you can avoid that exact same thing happening to you. And who am I? Well, I've been in business for a long time and my most recent business I opened just a month ago and I've already sold 133 units. So, you know, I might know a thing. First up, vanity metrics don't put food on the table. Or in this case, sell a t-shirt. The whole influencer thing, especially back in 2019 and prior to that, we were so heavily focused on just getting that fucking follower account up that we completely forgot about building a relationship with our people. It's the relationship that will sell the t-shirts. Two, CTAs every damn day. You gotta educate your people to do things for you in the shape of comment here, share this, shoot me a DM, watch my stories, have you checked my YouTube channel. It's not always about go buy my stuff. Sometimes it's just about can you do this for me so that when you have something for sale, they'll probably be buy it because they're used to saying yes to you and doing things for you. Three, she just created what she wanted to create. She didn't take them on the journey, so she didn't create what they wanted. Including your audience in the creative journey is part of the way of having immense success straight off the bat. I have no doubt whatsoever that the reason my shop has sold as much as it has in its first month is because I took my people on that journey. I let them choose. I asked them what they liked and I chose accordingly and created accordingly. So if you want to sell 36 t-shirts without having 2.6 million people, it's actually pretty easy. Take care of your people, make sure you bring them along for the journey and talk to them, let their people and care about them and just stop worrying about the whole metrics thing because actually it's utter bollocks.